said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. How many of you are grateful on this morning? Amen. Just begin to exalt and praise God in your own way. Amen. Come on. I know you can do better than that. Hallelujah. Amen. We know that God dwells in the midst of praise. Amen. We know that it's a little rainy and weary and dread outside, uh, wet outside and dreary, but we just thank God for his his grace and his mercy. Amen. And coming um, off of one of the greatest holidays ever celebrated. Amen. Thanksgiving. We just thank God for how he's continued to keep us and bless us. And uh, no matter uh, what is going on in our lives, amen, we uh, have something to be able to be thankful about. Amen. And if you just think about the goodness of Jesus, in some way, in some form of some fashion of what he's done for you, somebody should just be able to give God a praise for that. Amen. Amen. Uh, this morning we uh, 
thank God for being here uh, at Cathedral of Faith Ministries. We thank God for uh, Bishop and Dr. Johnson. We thank God for all of you, those of you that are in the sanctuary, those of you that are watching by YouTube or Facebook Live. We just say we thank you and we love you and God bless you. And do know that if you're ever in the uh, area and if you are in the area, our doors are open. We would love to see you. But until then, we Thank God for you being able to support us, amen, through all of the various platforms, amen. Amen. Our scripture reading this morning is going to come from Psalm 24, amen. It's a song of praise and a song of, psalm of thanksgiving, amen, and it asks us a few questions, amen. And as we go before the Lord this morning, we know that we all need something, but we know that God wants all of us, amen. And we ask that those of you who have your Bibles, wherever you are, just to stand with us. Amen. The earth is the Lord's in the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he had founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. Who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord. And righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him. That seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your hands, O ye gates. And be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your gates. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is the king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory of glory. Amen. Let us pray. Oh, gracious Father, we come once more and again, oh God, thanking you, oh God, for another day, oh God. Oh Lord, we thank you, Lord, for another week, oh God. A wonderful week that you have allowed us, oh God, to be in the house of worship, oh God. Lord, we just want to say thank you. Lord, we ask you right now, Lord, just to continue, Father God, to be with our church family, oh God. Be with our bishop, oh God, hallelujah. Be with our first lady, oh God. Lord, be with our praise team, oh God, hallelujah. Strengthen them in a special way, oh God. Be with our deacons, oh God. Our musicians, oh God, hallelujah. Touch them all in a special way, oh God. Lord, we just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for all that you're doing in our lives and all that you're going to do, oh God. Lord, we ask you right now, Lord, to continue to be with our children, oh God. Bless them in a special way, oh God. Oh Lord, we need you right now. Lord, we ask you right now, Lord God, just to have mercy upon them. Lord, we ask you, oh God, to be with those in the nursing home, oh God. Be with those in the hospitals, oh God. Lord, be with those, Father God, that just don't know you, oh God. Oh God, give them the mind, oh God, just to want to know you, Lord. Oh, glory to your holy and righteous name, oh God. Lord, we praise you, Lord. We honor you. We magnify your name, oh God. Oh Lord, we ask it all right now. In your son Jesus' name, Lord God. Amen. Amen. Good morning and praise the Lord, everybody. 
We invite you to worship with us this morning. We invite you to lift your hands. We invite you to lift your voice and exalt the name of our God. Has he done anything for you lately? Can you think of just one thing that he's done for you? He's done so many things for us. So we say, oh, Lord, we praise you. Oh, Lord, we praise you. Oh, Lord, we praise you. Help me say, we praise you. Oh, Lord, we praise you. I was thinking the other day about the joy that came my way. How he took away my frown and those things that had me found. Thought about all those times when I was walking around in the days. But today I stand before you with nothing but praise. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, we Lord. praise you. Oh Lord, Lord, oh Lord we praise, praise you. Oh Lord, oh Lord, we praise, we praise you. Oh Lord, we, oh Lord, we praise, praise you. Oh Lord, we praise, praise you. I was singing the other day about the joy that came my way. How it took away my frown and those things that had me found. Thought about all those times when I was walking around in a daze. But today I stand before you with nothing but praise. Oh Lord, oh Lord we pray. Oh, oh Lord, we give your we name praise a praise. You. Oh Lord, oh Lord we pray. Somebody you. give him glory. Oh Somebody Lord, give him praise. Oh Lord, oh Lord, we pray, we, we praise your name, oh Lord, we praise your we name, praise you. I bless your name. One more day. Because somebody didn't see this day. Somebody didn't make it today. But we did. And because of that, we have a privilege. We have a right to give him glory. To give him praise. One more day. 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 I'm going to give you praise. One more day. 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 I lift my hand. One more day. I praise you for one more day. You know, he's our father. The Lord Jesus Christ is our father. And whatever the father has, it belongs to me. Because I have that right. When I became adopted into the body of Christ, he's my daddy. Whatever I need, he provides. Whatever he has. It belongs to me. Hallelujah. It's his breath in my lungs. It's his breath. So we pour out our praise. I pour it out to you, Lord. 
It's the most I can do. It's the least I can do. It's all I can do is give you my praise. Hallelujah. We're going to go straight to the chorus. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. Pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. You only have. So can we sing that? Pour out our praise. It's your breath. In our lungs, so we pour out our praise, pour out our praise, it's your breath. In our lungs, so we pour out our praise, pour out our praise, it's your breath. In our lungs, so we pour out our praise, pour out our praise, it's your breath. In our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only. All the earth will give you praise. The rain is giving you praise. It's doing what you created it to do. The rain, the trees, the birds. So I will do what you created me to do. All the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry. Bones will sing. Great are you, Lord. All the earth, all the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry. These bones will say, Great are you, Lord. Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. Great are you, Lord. One more time, lift your hands to Jesus. All the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. Great are you, Lord. Shout your praise, our hearts will cry, these bones will say, Great are you, Lord. All the earth, all the earth will shout your praise, our hearts will cry, these bones will say, Great are you, Lord. All the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry. These bones will say, Great are you, Lord. It's your breath. It's your breath. In our lives. So we pour out our praise. Pour out our praise. It's your breath. In our lives. So we pour out our praise to you only. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our 
What a wonderful time of praise. Somebody help me praise him just one more time. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can y'all just sing one more verse of that song? Can y'all just sing just one more verse of that? Sing that one more time. Sing it one more time. It blessed me so good, so good. So good in our lives. So we pour out our praise. Pour out our praise. It's so good in our lives. So we pour out our praise. Oh, it's so good in our lives. So we pour out Somebody give God a hand, please. Somebody give God a hand, to please. Lord, 
The Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And His truth endure to all generations. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory. Amen. What a wonderful time to be in the house of the Lord. What a wonderful time to give God praise. This is the day the Lord have made and we will rejoice and be glad. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. All the blessed people here just wave at me. I'm so glad the Lord blessed me this morning and woke me up. Can I get a witness? I'm so glad he touched me with his hand and his finger of love. I'm so glad he looked down on me and breathed on me. Gave me the breath of life that I might praise him some more. We thank God for his grace and his mercy and his goodness. And I just want you to know that God told me to tell you he loved you. I wish I could get three people to say he loves me. I'm going to say it one more time and lay your hands on your chest and say he loves me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I thank God for his loving kindness and his tender mercies. Thank him for all he is doing. Uh, we're going back to Psalms 100. Because it's so important that we give thanks. Somebody tell him thank you. It's so important that we give thanks. And during this holiday season, somebody need to remember all the things that God brought them through on this year. God has been good to all of us. Can I get a witness? He's taken care of us. He has blessed us, opened doors for us, answered our prayers, keep on making ways. Making the darkness light before us and whatever's wrong, he's making it right. And the high places, he's bringing them down. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Hallelujah. God is so good. And, and we just want him to know that we appreciate. We're going back to Psalms 100 because the Lord says so. It is important that we take time out to give God praise, to give him glory, to give him honor. Amen. Turn your Bibles to Psalms 100, and, and, and uh, we are going to give him praise in Psalms. Psalms 100, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. That's the first admonition. All ye land. Second one is serve the Lord with what? Gladness. Gladness. And come before his presence with singing. Then know that the Lord, he is God. Yeah. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people. Somebody say his people. And the sheep of his pastor, somebody say his pastor, uh, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. That's how we should approach him. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Excuse me. Hallelujah. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. 
For the Lord is good. Somebody say, is good. Uh, hallelujah. His mercy is everlasting. Uh, his truth endureth through all generations. Hallelujah. There, there are uh, so many admonitions that the Lord has for us to remember. The reasons for us to give him praise. Uh, and it tells us how to give him praise. It says, make a joyful noise. And then know that he is God. Mm. Know that he made us. Hallelujah. We didn't make ourselves. Know that we are the people of his pasture. We are his people. And the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and to his courts with praise. Hallelujah. We are to be thankful unto him and bless his name. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Mm, hallelujah. And when, as, we, as we look at this, there, there, there are reasons uh, that the writer uh, charges us and challenges us to do this. There, there are several reasons. He says, uh, make a joyful noise and praise him because he's good. Is that good enough reason? Uh, he is, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. He is our God. Mm. He made us. Hallelujah. We are his people. We are the sheep of his pastor. He's good to us. Truth endureth to all generations. As we uh, have experienced this wonderful Thanksgiving uh, season, it has been a blessing to serve the Lord in a time like this because the Lord is keeping us in the midst of challenges. Uh, the Bible says to us to let us know that the challenges are not unique. The Bible says that we are troubled on what? Every side. Uh, we sometimes forget <clears throat> when problems come our way that it's the work of the enemy. The Bible said we are troubled on every side. To let us know that no, this ain't this ain't something that that uh, just just uh, stumble up. The, the enemy wants to stop you because the enemy knows that you have some blessings coming. Can I get one witness? Uh, we have to know that, that there are reasons for us to give God praise. And if we can keep those reasons in our mind, we can praise the Lord the way we should praise him. Can I get a witness? If I just remember that the Lord is good, is that enough? Because uh, he keep on making ways for us. If the enemy had had his way today, we wouldn't be in this place. You, you would be home or in the, in the bed somewhere or in the hospital or something. But the Lord is good. And you know what? Because he's good, he provides for us. He makes ways for us, reasons. I wonder, have you been thankful uh, during this Thanksgiving season? Have you been thankful? The old folks uh, say it like this, count your what? Uh, then the uh, old folks say, let's put a little another piece in there, because if they don't have enough, they'll, they'll forget. <laughs> count your blessings. Then they say, name them what? See, when you start naming, you say, I forgot about that. The Lord gave me that last week. I needed some new shoes. And I just was walking through the store just looking to see how much money I need to save. And the Lord had them on sale. I looked in my wallet. I looked in my pocketbook. I had them. These people giving these things away. The Lord said, no, that's for you. Uh, he said, I, I, I did that for you. 
That's the last pair. So I said, I, because I love you so much, I did that for you. Do you know the Lord is making blessings for you on a daily basis? Yes, yes. Somebody just tell him thank you. Thank you. Uh, so on oh, oh, this week we have, and we should do it all year, but this week we have put an emphasis because it's Thanksgiving, uh, an emphasis on saying thank you. And I, 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 I want to uh, give you some reasons to remind you that you might uh, rehearse them in your mind, reasons for being thankful. And you know, when you are thankful, you have a different attitude. You ever seen a person that was always angry, always frowning, always upset about something? They don't know what they got. But when I count my blessings, how many of y'all blessing here just wave at me? Uh, God makes ways. You know, if the truth be told, there are a lot of people that would love to be in your shoes. They say, let me have your shoes, you can have mine. But God has chosen you. Some folks look at you and don't know how you make it. Wait just a minute. We're on the same job. I've been here longer than her. But she is coming in here smiling and she's looking good. And she's seeing positive things. Make a joyful noise. She don't come in here complaining and having a pity party and saying negative things. So there are reasons that I, I, I want you to hear today a couple reasons why we should, if we can remember to give thanks, we have a better day. Uh, when, you th when you can say to yourself, I am blessed, you feel better, don't you? Because a lot of people walking the streets today uh, feel like they're not blessed and they are in a bad mood, got a nasty attitude and just bitter. But the psalmist says to us, make a joyful noise. Uh, hallelujah. And he tells us to make a joyful noise. And then he begins to tell us reasons to be thankful. I just want to share with you uh, today uh, reasons for joyful thanksgiving. I, I want to share that. And on this week, I want you to ask God to bless you to each day give him thanks. Uh, if I don't miss if I don't miss uh, 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 anything, I hope that I can cover this in a brief period because I believe that what you say bless your family. Anybody believe that? Uh, the devil is a liar. Uh, I have to know, hallelujah. Uh, the reasons why I'm thankful. First reason is the Lord is my God. That means that he's in charge. If God want to bless me, can't nobody stop him. If people could, they would stop the Lord's hand because they look at you and you look so nice. Every time you come out, you, you, you're looking nice. You got a smile on your face. You're not crying and complaining. You're not bitter. You're not angry. And you're smiling. And they like seeing that because they need a pickup. They need a smiling face. They need somebody to. And, and that's, that's why every now and then we need to recognize that we need to smile. <clears throat> even when we don't feel like smiling. And that's why this psalm is so important. Because this psalm says, make a joyful noise. And then it gives us some reasons. Because the Lord, number one, is our God. Uh, hallelujah. He is our God. Note you not that he made us. He don't make no junk. Hallelujah. So there are reasons for being thankful. And it's important that we're thankful because other people looking at us learn how to be thankful. 
You know, thankful people are blessed. If you are thankful, blessings come upon you. For the Lord is God. No, you not that the Lord himself, he is God. Hallelujah. There's no assumption here that any other God is in charge. He is the one that's in charge. And then number two, uh, he made us. Hallelujah. If he made me, he made me right. If anything go wrong with me, he know how to make it right. Can I get it? Can I say that again? Whatever's wrong, he can make it right. In the high places, he'll do what? So I am thankful. I'm thankful and I teach others to be thankful. We have to teach our children to be thankful. So there's a reason for us to be thankful today. There's a reason for us to smile. Number one, the Lord is our God. He is in charge of everything. Number two, uh, he made us. He don't make no jump. Can I get two witnesses? He don't make no jump. Hallelujah. He made us and not we ourselves. If we have made us, there have been a couple flaws. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. And then he said, we are his people. You know, the Lord God loves his people. I wish I could get three people to say, the Lord loves me. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are his people and he loves me. I belong to him. He takes care of what's his. Yes. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. And you know what's so good about it? The next thing is, he has created a pastor for me. We are the sheep of his life. You know what a man does with his sheep? He put him in a special place. I need somebody here to know today that God has placed you in a special place. If the truth be told, some people look at you and don't know how you make it. I need to say that again. Somebody missed that. Some people, that don't, they look at you, they don't know how you make it. They say, she don't make no more money than I do. Of course, they don't know what your sources are. People judge you a lot of times, but they don't know. God have other sources that you don't even know about. And then God will take a, a dollar in your hand and do what other people can't do with $20. Somebody need to hear that. You got to take your $2 and send you in a store. Come on. Listen to me here. God will take that $2 and you'll go in a store. And you'll say, these shoes are what? This dress is what? It's the wrong price on here. And some of us would be so naive to go and say, lady, ask the lady, is this the right price? Now the bold believers would say, I want this. I'm going to the register. She ain't going to ring it up no other price. If it's wrong, it's wrong. I didn't make it wrong. But God got to hit. You know what? God has some blessings just for you. With your name on it, just for you. Somebody say, just for me. Just for my family. Just for my children. Hallelujah. Just for me. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. I'm part of his pastor. We are the people, uh, the sheep of his pastor. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. The verse 5 said, for the Lord is good. I know he's going to do what's right about me. The Lord is good. The evidence, I got evidence of it because he keep on making ways. I believe God telling somebody right now that he got a blessing coming to your house. Anybody hear the Lord tell them? The Lord told me to tell somebody. He's trying to tell you something. That he's got a blessing coming to your house. Something you've been thinking about. Something you've been asking about. The Lord said, the, the blessings shall come upon you and do what? Surely, goodness and mercy shall what? Oh, my God. Did y'all hear that? Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. My goodness, uh, I wish I'd get three people to say, I am blessed. I don't need everybody else to understand that. I need to know that. 
Because there's some things the devil is going to try to send my way to make me change my mind. But no, no, some things come and you have to say, this too will pass. It came to pass. It came to go. It came to leave me because God has a thing. And God told me to tell three people in here today that you are blessed. And he's got blessings for you. God told me to tell somebody here today that you got a blessing coming between now and the end of the year. You've been asking. You've been waiting. Uh, God said, don't give up. Don't quit. If he said it, he's going to do it. It's impossible for him to lie. If he said it, he's going to do it. I need three people to say, I'm blessed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Because he says in his word, in the third verse of Psalms 100, we are his people. He takes care of his people. Uh, the third verse says, we are the sheep of his pastor. He takes care of what belongs to him. Hallelujah. God is good. The evidence of his being good is all around us. Things that he do for us. Uh, his loving kindness is everlasting. He keep on blessing me. He keep on making ways for me. His loving kindness. Uh, because we are the sheep. Hallelujah. We live under the hand of God. And he is going to take care of us. His faithfulness continues through all generations. I, I need three people to say my children are blessed. My children are blessed because I'm blessed. And what he does, you can pass that blessing on to your children. Huh? Yeah, some of y'all don't believe that, but you, you, you need to believe this. Lay your hands on them and bless them. Say in the name of what? Bless them. Bless them. Bless them. Hallelujah. If there was something going wrong in their lives, lay your hands on them and bless them. Say in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Listen to this. You have power and authority in you. Now, uh, raise your hand if you believe that. Power and authority in you. I got scripture for that. Great is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You can speak it. You can say it. He's given you authority. He told you to speak to the mountains, didn't he? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are the sheep of his pasture. And you know why he says that to us? Because sheep are guided by the shepherd. I need to know that. I need to know that uh, uh, he is there to guide me. The second thing he's there for is to protect me. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. He is my shepherd. He guides me and he protects me. And if I am doing what I'm supposed to, I'll listen to him and follow him. Hallelujah. And know that he has the plan for my life and for my children. God told me to tell somebody right quick here, uh, pray for your children. Lay your hands on your children. Listen to this. This is not being sneaky, but every now and then you need to lay your hands on them. Don't, don't, don't let them know you're praying for them. Come on, come on. Great as he is that's in you, then he does You just go, love your son, just hug you, hug him, and you're saying to yourself, in the name of Jesus. God hear you. Do you hear what I'm saying? God gave, gave us the power to bless. Hallelujah. Uh, he is good. The evidence of his goodness is seen all around us. His loving kindness is everlasting. His faithfulness is Continues to all generation. I have to know that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. And I have to be thankful. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. I got to always give God thanks. I got to always tell the Lord I love you. I got to always tell the Lord I appreciate you. I got to always tell the Lord. And you know, one of the things we have to do is teach our children how to praise the Lord. Are you listening to me? I, I have to teach. We have a responsibility because God wants there to be overflowing blessings in our life. How many of y'all believe that? 
And you know what? You have the power and authority in you to bless your children, even, hallelujah, when they don't even want you to bless them. Are you, are you listening to me? And we can, we can uh, uh, do anything we want to do, but the one thing we got to continue to do is to thank God for what he's doing in our lives, in our children's lives. How many of you uh, do this? Don't raise your hand. Don't, don't raise your hand. How many of you just lay your hands on your child every now and then? They don't even know what you're doing. You don't have to say it out loud. You can say, in the name of Jesus. Did y'all hear that? And that, uh, you, can, you can do that for that, that, that one that's 35 years old, too. That's giving you a fit. Uh, just lay it. Just grab him. How you doing, son? Love you. Then you're praying. You're praying. You understand what I'm saying? Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Pray. Pray. Prayer changes things. Pray for him. Pray for him. The prayer of the righteous availeth much. And then when you lay your hands on and pray, just believe God and thank him. Tell the Lord, thank you. And, and know that the Bible promised goodness and mercy shall follow all the days of their lives. If you pray, hallelujah. God told me to tell somebody, I don't know who it is here today, your prayers is making a difference in your family. Are you listening to me? I'm not just talking about your children. I'm talking about your husband, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncle, those ones that's in trouble. Listen to this. There are people in your family that are in trouble that are dependent on your prayer and don't even know it. They're tossing and turning at night. They're complaining, and when you tell them to start complaining, they ain't paying you no attention. Come on. But you still got to tell them. They're going to get it after a while. And you got to keep on telling them, God promised never to leave you, never to forsake you. He promised to be with you always. And then the thing that we have to do while the Lord is changing them, we have to begin to give God praise. Uh, somebody missed that. I need to say it again. When you ask God to do something for you uh, and, and, and uh, he's not doing it on your time scale, continue to praise him. Because the devil wants you to stop. He wants you to see stuff that's not there. He wants you to see that it ain't working. But you keep on praising him for that child, for that sister, for that brother. Hallelujah for that wife, for that husband. Keep on praying. Uh, we used to sing a song a long time ago, just keep on praying. The Lord is nigh. Keep on praying. He'll what? He will hear your cry. God, your prayers make a difference. Are you listening to me? I don't know why the Lord won't let me leave this little point here on my, on my message list. Uh, uh, but God told me to tell somebody in here, keep praying for that one that's giving you the most trouble. Because you know you get tired of people and you say, let me just leave this boy alone. Let me leave this girl alone. Let me leave, leave my sister, my brother alone. No. No, don't, don't, don't quit. Prayer of the righteous what? God hears. The devil wants you to quit. The devil wants you to see all the negatives. The devil wants you to see all the bad things. That boy, he's just as hard-headed as he can be. He ain't listening to nothing I say. My brother ain't paying me no attention. My sister ain't paying me no attention. My mama, my daddy ain't paying me no attention. Keep on praying. The Bible says the prayer of the what? Avail it what? And you have to do what God has called you to do. And that is to keep on praying. And then give him thanks. Give him thanks. 
Uh, you got to let him know that you uh, appreciate what he is doing. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Today, as we close out Thanksgiving week, have you had a good Thanksgiving week? Yes. Amen. Raise your hand if you had a good Thanksgiving week. God told me, listen to what I'm finna say now, because I'm wrapping this brief message up. God told me, where you go from here to the end of the year is so important. And you have a part in it. Because God wants to take you somewhere between now and the end of the year that will, listen to the word I'm finna use, propel you in 2023. Did anybody get that? If you got that, just wave at me just quickly. God wants to speak to you. I'm challenging somebody here today to take a few extra minutes in prayer between now and the end of the year. Take a few extra minutes. Take five, ten minutes in, in a day and just ask God to lead you and guide you and to protect you. Bless your children. Bless your parents. Bless your siblings. Hallelujah. Because it makes a difference. Can I get a witness? Anybody here believe that uh, next year, 2023, is going to be a great year? If we look at the media, they're saying things are going to be bad. Are you listening to me? But we got to believe the God that created heaven and earth is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. Listen to the word I just used. Ask or think. You have not because you what? God told me to tell somebody, ask. Make a list. And, and for you who have children, God told me to put this little uh, uh, check mark on this. When they sleep, just lay hands on them. Did y'all catch that? They ain't going to uh, uh, let you do too much when they while away. Yeah, come on, pray for you. Pray for me for what, Mom? I'm, I'm all right. I'm a, I ain't got no cuts or nothing. I didn't flunk none of my grades. I didn't get in no trouble. What you going to pray for me for? They don't know. Say, boy, shut up. <laughs> Grab him and say, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Listen to this. I'm trying to quit, but the Lord told me to tell you, your prayers make a what? And I'm talking about for that, you got to do the same one for that one that's taller than you now. What you doing, mama? You never seen a person pray before? Why are you praying for me? Because we all need prayer. He can't say that you're just picking him out, but we all need prayer. Because, listen to this, we got to win. Your children got to win. God told me to tell you, He's got a plan for you to win. Trust him and stand on his word. And know that he promised never to leave you. He promised never to forsake you. And the other thing that uh, I want you to hear, I won't go into that part uh, too much today, but understand that it's important for us to give Thanks to God. Bible says, and everything do what? This is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. It's the will of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for the time you've given us here today. Thank you for these, your people. Lord, I stretch my hands over this congregation now. 
And Lord, I'm asking you to bless them as I reach over them today. I just wish I get two people or three people to just raise your hands up right now as I pray. Lord, bless your people. Bless your people. Bless your people. Bless the, hallelujah. Bless your people. Bless these children. Bless those who are not here today. God, let your anointing, let your spirit prevail. God, we give you praise. We give you thanks. And we give you honor and glory. Bless us now in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Are you blessed? Are you going to have a blessed rest of the year? Are you going to give God the praise? As we come to a close, we prepare to give unto the Lord. The Bible says God loves what kind of giver? Father, bless your people now. And bless us to remember to be thankful for all that you are doing for us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Bless the hand to give now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As we come, come to a close today, we ask you to remember to pray. And remember the prayer of the righteous availeth what? We pray that you have a wonderful day and the rest of this uh, week. And we pray that God will bless you and your family. Father, bless us now. Keep us, guide us, and direct us. Bless the gift that we've given. Bless the word that we've heard tonight or today. Bless us, keep us, guide us, and direct us. And we give you praise. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion with the Holy Spirit, rest through and abide with us until we come together again. Everybody say, I love the Lord. God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful day.